All right, let's do this. From Tesla, low APR now available for Model Y. I just received this email about four hours ago from Tesla, about 7.19 p.m. Eastern time. So things are happening. Uh, let's get into it real quick. Finance your Model Y from 0.99%. Get 0.99% APR financing when you order any new Model Y. By 31 May 2024, you have two weeks. You have two weeks to do this. Get ready. Get moving. Uh, Model Y starts at 31490 After, After the federal tax credit from the government, and estimated gas savings. That's an interesting uh, statement. You can design yours or pre-qualify for financing to get started. So you can click on here, design yours, or do a demo drive. Um, yeah, at least they're doing their push. Tesla never advertised before. They're starting to do advertisement. They're starting to do more of this pushing stuff through emails, marketing, lowering the price, uh, the APR stuff. Uh, lowering that. Why is that? Because uh, banks are charging way too much on car loans. The repos are way up on autos right now. Car loans, people get them. Then they realize they can't afford $1,200 a month for a stupid car or for a stupid truck that starts at $50,000 and goes high up to $90,000 from a Tacoma. Of all things, $50,000 for a Tacoma going up to a Ford pickup, a full size pickup for $100,000. It's insane. People cannot afford. Uh, these loans that banks are giving them. So they're defaulting and the repos are high. Cars are not selling on dealership lots. Dealerships are even having their cars repoed because they have to basically take loans out to finance, you know, basically pay for the cars from the manufacturers. And uh, they get put on a lot. They have a loan against them. They're paying interest on them. Every day it sits on that lot, folks. The old McDealership is paying interest. Uh, they cannot pay the bank because they're not selling them. And the old bank or whoever gave them the money shows up in the tow trucks and they get repoed. And who cares, right? It's greed. They're greed. Manufacturers got greedy. Dealerships got greedy. The guys that work there have no souls. They're trying to get as much money out of your pocket and put it in theirs as humanly possible. So having said that, Tesla does have the best purchase model. Here's the price. Here's the tax credits. Uh, this stupid gas saving things is stupid because you are still paying electricity costs. And electri electricity costs will go up. And it has gone up. It came back down. It was up high here uh, per kilowatt hour due to natural gas issue. They just made something up just to basically fleece the populace. Uh, made, oh, natural gas shortage. Oh, yeah, right. What are you going to do about it? You can only complain because, again, it's a big club. We ain't in it. All right. So what is going on here? Also note, you have the federal tax credit, right? And then you also have some states have uh, the greeny credit, too, as well. When I had my Model S back in 2014, 2015, I can't remember, 2015, I lost track of time. I think it was 2015. I did get a Fed tax credit and I did get a Maryland, ugh, socialist state of Maryland credit of 2,500 bucks. You don't get $10,000 cash. You basically can say, hey, it's a credit. I can put it on my tax return so it offsets my liability. If they change that, let me know. If you're actually getting uh, the federal tax credit back in cash, That'd be interesting to know, but I think it just offsets any tax liability you have to the government. Because, you know, the government wants to take all your money, but they're being nice here. Have a little tax credit, and we won't, we won't take all your money this year, but we'll get you next year. Um, that's the way I think it works. So don't go in there thinking you're going to get a nice fat check. You just get a tax credit for your taxes for the following year. So you're not going to get it right away. I don't know. That was my understanding. I may have forgotten how it works. But in my memory, I remember I put it on my taxes and got a discount or lessened my, what I owed to the social state of Maryland and the communist government of the United States uh, accordingly. So let's see. The available for here, let's read the small print. That's what nobody ever reads. Available for qualified buyers with term lengths up to 72 months. Must order between May 10. 2024 and May 31, 2024. Promotional rates are subject to credit approval and may change at any time. Interesting. See Tesla.com for applicable terms and conditions. Model Y starts 
starts at $44,990, so $45,000 before incentives. Price excludes taxes and fees and is subject to change. $7,500. Oh, there it is. Here it is. $7,500 schmackaroos. Federal tax credit available to eligible buyers and subject to MSRP caps. So what is this? $6,000 in gas savings estimated over five years. Why did they put that in there? Come on. Did you even put in the electricity cost? I don't know. I don't like that they did that. It kind of makes me a little, what are you doing, Tesla? I do own Tesla stock. I'm down 40%. I'm really not happy about that. I did not set my stop loss orders. I don't know why I was had hoping that this was going to be the one EV comp company standing. But no, EV, the EV craze, the EV interest has jumped the shark. The government cannot force it down our throats. The infrastructure is not in place. These cars are just not ready for prime time. Of all the cars, Tesla is probably the best one to get. The other ones just can't even compete with Tesla, but nobody wants them. They're expensive. Well, they've gone down now, but they're expensive. Uh, any kind of accident, they're pretty much totaled because the cost of repair is more than the cost of the vehicle. Uh, let's see. They may have thermal runaway when the battery gets damaged. The lithium-ion battery will ignite and keep burning like a nuclear fusion reaction or whatever. And they're hard to put out. Fire departments need lots and lots of chemicals and waters to try to put them out. And then tow companies tow them away. They have to sit them in a lot, 50 yards from any, no, 50 feet from any other object because they may reignite after being put out by the fire department. They are just not good things. And where does all that waste go? Landfill, right? Uh, and then they're realizing too, the cost, of, the cost and pollution created to create these cars and batteries outweighs the benefits. I think people got wise to it. The cars are heavy. Uh, they aren't allowed to be parked in parking garages, on ferries, on boats because of the fire uh, hazard. And also just trying to find a charging station. The criminals are going around cutting off the charging cables because there's copper in them. Copper is money. So what they do in Europe is they make you provide and bring your own power cable to the charging station, thus eliminating that theft thing. Because you know, a lot of crooks over there too, and they learn the hard way. Well, you're just going to bring your own power cable if you want to use the charging stations. So that is where we are at now. Um, yeah, the people aren't going to the banks. Like I said, the banks' rates are too high. The foreclosures are too high. The repos, I mean, on cars are way too high. People crediting or taking maxes out on the loans on these cars. They end up with a $1,200 a month payment. Who can afford that on a car? If you're going to get a loan for 72 months, do you really need to get that car? I mean, I would just save cash and wait for the economic collapse. And then you'll get a car for probably 10,000 bucks, right? Or go on um, Enterprise. What's the one Hertz or whoever had all the Teslas and they dumped them? They had hundreds of thousands, know, thousands of Teslas they bought. They refuse now to keep them in their fleet. So now you can go to Enterprise or Hertz or whoever it is and buy these used Teslas for like 15,000 bucks. So that might be a better option for you. If you, can't, if you need to get a 72 month loan, there's something wrong there. If you don't have the cash to buy something, you should not be buying it because you'll be. Uh, in debt in perpetuity you'll never get out of it and uh, that's by design they want you to be in debt so don't do it uh like i said i do have tesla stock let's go look at it real quick let's all cry together let's all cry together and every time every week there's always some stupid article about tesla or they're doing something to damn cyber trucks piece of crap uh musk wants billions of dollars that he's owed and he's fighting the sec ruling on that so we're up today 566, which is good. I'm going to dump this thing quick. If I can get to 180, I'll be happy to take a 40% loss and learn my lesson. Um, yeah, so we're up after hours, we're up 85 cents. So anyway, there you go. If you want to get a Tesla, you can get it for 90.99% with the $7,500 tax credit. It's not a rebate. It's a tax credit. Look it up. Look what it means. Don't just jump in thinking you're getting that. And you're not getting 6000 back either. That's just their estimate. Here's what you're going to save over five years on a gasoline cost. It's, it's, just, it's just a, I don't know, it's a wave your Jedi mind trick hand thing, right? Just don't buy new cars, folks. Just buy, don't even buy a car. It's probably a lot cheaper to take the car you have 
get it fixed up, even if you're spending 5,000 bucks, it's still a lot less than spending, uh, what's the real price? 45,000, add on tax, whatever state you're in, add, add in the sales tax, and uh, add in tax and tags and fees and all that crap. So let's just say, oh my God, I'm gonna say 10%, five, five, let's just say 50,000 bucks, Ooh, that's a lot of money. You can take your car you're driving now, and say you put in 10,000 bucks, you're still way ahead of the game and you're getting yeah, a new transmission, new tires, man. You're good for another freaking five years on that car. And then you're not in debt for 72 months at a 0.99% loan. <laughs> oh my God. If I can only tell people just only buy stuff if you can afford it and you shouldn't be buying new crap anyway, buy used, uh, your, yeah, the depreciation on these cars, it sucks. Once you drive it off the lot, it's true. It drops. Yeah, I remember buying a Tesla and they said, oh my God, the resale value on these things will be higher than what you paid for it. <laughs> Crap. So two years later, I sold my Model S and I got a Tacoma pickup truck. I barely, you know, I think it was, I barely got, I think I spent 70 on that thing with the, yeah, and I probably got 40 for it. It's all, you don't believe anything a salesman's going to tell you. They want your money and uh, that's a life lesson. You should know that by now, being an adult. But anyway, here we go. I got the email. And you can go over, you can design your own Model Y. Look at that. Ooh, ah, ooh. I just, I have no stomach for a new car, man. I want to get a basic car with no computers. I just want a, a manual transmission, pickup truck, or a Jeep. The less computers, the less freaking electronic components on it, the better. That's what I'm looking for. The less things that can break down. Yeah, look at this thing. Long range, all wheel drive, all wheel drive. I don't know. And if you can work on your hand, work on your hands, work with your hands, change your, um, change your oil, rotate your tires. Um, on these things, the brakes and tires, you need to change. Uh, I wouldn't mess with it. They'll probably void the warranty if you, if you look at it wrong. You just got to watch these uh, companies. But if you have a car, just learn how to do your own maintenance. You'll keep that thing running. And uh, don't let your kids drive your cars either. They'll just, they're just going to mess them up. So that's another problem. If you got kids driving your cars, eh, might not be a good thing. But anyway, on that note, what do you think? You're going to go about spend your money. Uh, the economic collapse is going to come probably Q4, right, right around the election time. I would not be buying anything. You all should be hoarding cash. You all should be getting out of stocks, uh, even at a loss, because um, Tesla's at, one, say, 177. It's probably going to drop by half when this economic collapse hits near uh, Q4, and uh, you take your losses now. Uh, maybe you got a month yet month or two to maybe get out there may be a push up and take uh, take that as a nice little sweet gift but get into cash and get ready and uh, trade accordingly you can get into bonds and i don't know exactly yet i'm still trying to figure it out but if you're up in equities and tech and all that crap yeah, i don't know i it, it's gonna get bad all right on that note go buy your teslas all right i'm out